This flight is from Port of Spain, Trinidad. It's a high risk flight for narcotics for us. Recently, we've seen a trend of body carriers and also loaded bags filled with narcotics from this country. How you doing, sir? How long were you in Trinidad on this trip? About four days. Four days? How many bags do you have downstairs? One. Just one? Mm -hmm. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna escort you downstairs, mm -hmm. grab your bag, mm -hmm. and talk to you for a little bit, and we'll get you out of here. Mm -hmm. Who paid for your ticket? Uh, a friend of yours? Right. This is your bag? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. This way, follow us. All right, grab your bag. You went down to Trinidad for four days, and your friend Dennis paid for your ticket, right? Yeah. Hello, Dennis. How you doing? This is Officer Vargas with U.S. Cups and Border Protection here in Miami. Are you expecting somebody today? No. Do you know Samuel? All right, thanks for your cooperation. Nobody knows you. Your friends have disowned you. They don't even know that you exist. You know, we think you swallowed the drugs, plain and simple. What we want to do is take you to the hospital. You get the x-ray of your, your stomach. Who initially stated that he did not swallow any type of narcotics. We took him to the hospital for a monitored bowel movement. The next day, he consented to an x-ray, which was positive for foreign bodies in his alimentary canal. There's a total of 96, and the tested positive for cocaine. OK? All right, right, just wait a minute. These are some of the pellets that he has passed. If you take a look at here, one of the pellets had started to unravel and actually could have killed him because it wasn't packaged properly. If he would have gotten the cocaine directly into his blood system, he would have maybe had about three or four minutes the most to, to survive. He took a big risk. We're going to go ahead and process all the stuff, and then somebody from Immigration and Customs Enforcement is going to come in and speak with you, and it's going to be in their hands now. Yeah, I talked to my attorney. He said he's got to have two papers before he can be removed from the property. Not really. He's, he's got the he's the lien holder. He can take his truck whenever he wants. There's no such thing as legal papers for it. Then why does my attorney say different? I don't know. Your attorney could have graduated last, and they still call him an attorney. Okay. I, I don't know what to tell you. Really? 